Studios of Channel 8 Television, located in beautiful downtown Pacifica, California, the scenic gateway to San Francisco. Welcome to the Bruce Latimer Show. Pacifica, California. Oh, so sweet. Wow. Oh, by the way, did you all hear? Well, corduroy pillows are making headlines. <clears throat> I'm just here to have a good time. Huh. 25 years we've been doing this. Can you believe it? 954 television shows. This is a pretty big deal. Over 5,000 guests. Uh, it sure makes me feel like a man needs to feel. If that man is me. Oh, so you see, I, I, I've been hooked on this stuff most of my life. Yeah, putting out the comfort and the joy. Yeah, right here in this little, from this little community here, which I was so happy to be a part of for 20 some odd years. Right next to the Pacific Ocean. Oh man, it's something strange. But it's the kind of strange that makes you wanna go a little further and take it to the end. Oh, yeah, there ain't nothing like uh, what you call community television when they do it like we do it. Oh, yeah, and like we do it, it's like, wow, that's it. Oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, hey, I heard uh, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Fallis, he got the new, uh, uh, what's that, Enter what's the show? Is oh, Tonight Show? Yeah, he's the new, the new guy on Tonight Show. That's pretty cool, right? <clears throat> I'm just, I was blessed. I was blessed. I was pushed away from wanting to ever sort of be on that level of this type of thing. Of getting down to the bone. And getting, 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 I'm getting into the feel of this type of television. Got a great show, I hope you can stick around. Rich Felix has been a blues man since he was a he was a boy. Oh, yeah, he's been a musician most of his life. Plays regularly down at the San Benito house here on the coast side of California. Tonight he's going to be accompanied by Frank Tebow of the John Lee Hooker Band and many, many others. Larry Howe of Vicious Rumors and Marvin Banks, who uh, sings with the Drifters and Wow, about anybody you can sing with, this cat's a singer. Yeah, I'm so pleased that they're here. The Rich Felix Blues Review is present and accounted for. Oh yeah, it feels so good. To be able to stretch myself out, you know, when I get down and do this thing. Because it's just like, well, yeah, hey, I'm home. I feel sometimes like when I come down here that I'm like, I'm like Santa Claus. This is Christmas to me. I can get all the gifts and all the wonders and the joys out to people. And Patton is passing right now. It's passing all through the world. That's right. All through the world. <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. 
Now, the opening our show this evening is arguably the most popular female musician of this area. She sung, sung background on Neil Young's Chrome Dreams, the Greendale album, written numerous songs, performs with her group, the Curios, and is very active in social issues, environmental issues. And when my wife, Sandra, and I were at the, uh, the wedding that she had some years ago, it was so cool because I thought, what a beautiful thing. She said, she said, I love to do my husband's laundry. Uh, I was just thought, wow, that was so sweet. Yeah. She's got a CD out. It's called Cartoon. Yeah. Nancy Hall is with us this evening. Yeah. Yay. I want to dedicate the show to all people that sort of need to know that it doesn't stop the energy does not stop. The energy does not stop. It always goes. And for those of you who are having a time, you know, a rough time, there, it will again flow. You know, let, 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 let yourself, if you can, get up and go and make another way to get where your happiness is. And all you people that are not going to be able to do that because there's something really, really, really difficult happening. It's all right. It's, it's, you're still going to go. There's still, you're still going to have this great sort of aura of uh, electricity of your being that just keeps going on and on. Right now, please join me in welcoming to our stage. We haven't seen her in a while. Nancy Hall. Will you put your hands together for Nancy, please? Thank you. I first want to start off by saying that sharing the stage with Felix is kind of a, a long-held dream of mine. When I was eight years old, I used to stand in the planter box out in front of his house and watch his teenage band play through the window and um, thought, someday I'm going to be in a band. And uh, well, I'm not in a band tonight. I'm just playing by myself. But um, thanks for the inspiration, Rich. This is a song called, I Got a Hole in My Heart, and I Want to Fill It With You. I've got a hole in my heart, I want to fill it with you.
I want to give me to you. I'm looking for companionship. I'm looking for a friend. But nothing makes much sense to me. Unless you're standing next to me. This next song I wrote when I was sitting by a river, and I think the river kind of entered the song. So this is a song called Listening. Gave myself a talking to Somewhere on my path to you and walk 
Nancy, Nancy Hall. When I listen to her, I just uh, it's so easy for me to to be transported into all her facial movements and and all that. It, is that how it is for you as well? Very. Uh, she emotes all this. Really gets into it. That's big time to me. As I mentioned, she has a release, a cartoon. She's getting hooked up right now. Great songs, huh? Boy. Hole in my heart and listen. Listen. <laughs> listen. Hi, folks. Yeah. <laughs> listen. <laughs> Can you see somebody doing that to you all day? Because, you know, do you, do you know this? That, that most, most conversation, 90% uh, 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 of it is misunderstood. Do you know that? Yeah. And here she was by a river or something, and, and there's sort of, you know, these nice words come, came to her. Nancy is sort of on the mend, just lost her mother not too long ago. And this is just a, one of the first few sort of getting back into the, the scene. I'm so pleased and proud that, she is, uh, that she's here with us now. She's been sat down, and she's sitting next to me now, and we'll talk with her for a few minutes. Put your hands together for her. Hi, Nancy. Thank you again. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Boy, you you are uh, 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 an emoter. You are a, 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 a lots of facial stuff. You you take words and and put them on your face in some ways. We have some of this. This is essence of Pacifica. <laughs> we, I think uh, I have some of that in me already, right? After oh living yeah. Here, oh after God. After living here for all these my years. whole life. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and yet, and you start off singing very, very early, and as it turns out, Rich and you, Rich Felix, and you go back a long way, huh? Were you schoolmates, chums? Well, he's a little older than me, and I was, like I said before, I'm a little kid, and I was. There were a couple. Well, there are several garage bands in our neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. And. Um, I was really enthralled uh, with the whole experience of walking past, I'd be walking home from grammar school, and you'd hear these bands playing in these different houses, you know, and his uh, family home was like right on my path there on Alicante, yeah. and we'd, you know, go, wow, there's a rock band in there, you know? And it was so exciting. And all these years later, he's still playing music. Yeah. You and still uh, know each other. And now we're like sharing a show here tonight, so it's, yeah, it's it really sweet? fun for me. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's great. A f it's a f fun for me. A large part of my existence is to sort of see, you know, get the best of the, hum the human, you know. Uh, you know, just put, make a forum and then see what happens, you know. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, uh, You've done a good job of it all these of, all these years. Oh really, yeah. Everyone really appreciates the opportunity to come and share their music here on your show, well, Bruce. Thank, so thank thanks you for that. Oh, you're you're very very welcome. Your your songwriting's coming along, and you're you you actually performed once or twice before you, you've come on this show. When when you did the the work with uh, Young Neil Young, the Glendale thing that didn't turn out so well, but. But we, did you think it was really a mighty project, a wonderful thing? Well, it, you know, the thing with Neil is that he's very adventurous, and he is never one to rest on his laurels. He yeah, always wants yeah, to explore. Yeah. And, you know, therefore, he tries everything. I mean, he worked with everybody from Devo to Willie Nelson and everything in between. So, I mean, the guy, he almost doesn't give a shit, if you don't mind my no, saying No, I that. think it's wonderful. You can beat that yeah. up if you need no, to. No, we don't, this is not, um, not important. But, you know, he, he's going to follow uh, his muse wherever it takes yeah. him. And uh, he was really inspired to do Greendale um, because, you know, he wanted it to be funky and low tech. Yeah. And yeah. he wanted it to feature these songs and the story that he wanted to tell. And, you know, um, we were on the road for a year. Some nights were transcendent and incredible. Some nights I was bored. You know, it was everything in the world that it could possibly be over the course of a whole year. And well, there were some nights mm -hmm. when, you know, it was just so fantastic and mind-blowing. So, Neil you know. took chances, takes chances. His whole career has been that way. Tonight, you took a chance and you want you... You could have done other songs, and you told me you wanted to do the one that you felt you should do, or the ones you felt you should do. That's really, really well, important. Well, I, I had, you know, that song, the one that I did second, um, 
Listen. I've written that a while ago, and yeah, I I um I never really performed it because it's kind of like really personal, and also it's not like a pop song or something. And mm -hmm. I mean, I have other sort of like crowd pleaser kind of songs or whatever, but I really wanted to do that song for my own reasons. And uh, thank you for the uh, to the opportunity to, oh, to try it out. Oh, it's big you know? time. I yeah, we uh, unfortunately so many of us are unable to do it. And, uh, and so many of us don't even know we have permission to do. You know what I mean? Uh, and and you all uh, have permission. Hereby, yeah. Bruce and I have decided yeah. you all have permission to do your creative stuff. Uh, a large, a larger part of your life <laughs> that I've been aware of uh, is you know, you know your sort of social issues, environmental and things that are good for the planet. And I, I guess you're kind of still doing that. I mean, I thought that was a great part of your. Your persona, your makeup as a, a human, your creative individual, your you know deep thinking, your songwriter, your, your uh, and I, I just think that was wonderful. And you're also doing what visual performance or something? What is it? Well, I, I really in the last couple of years. Well, I I used to be a painter, and then um, I I got frustrated with that. It was too confining, or and I wasn't very good at it. That might have been part of it too, but. Um, I recently got really interested in doing um, found object sculpture oh, yeah, and yeah. assemblage, I guess people call it too. But as p a part of that, I got into making custom furniture wow. with found objects. And my dad and I, um, my dad lives in Lindemar here in Pacifica, and he and I have started a little business where um, we make custom pieces for people's homes out of old broken furniture we put it together in a whole new way God, I love stuff and, uh, like that. it's yeah. so much fun so we just, <coughs> we just got a commission recently and we're building a beautiful table together oh, God. and it's uh, it's uh. so wonderful for me especially having uh, my mom passed recently uh. as you mentioned so it's a way for my dad and I to really bond and yeah. spend some great God quality time right. and he's teaching me how to use all these awesome power tools you know oh yeah so it's like the only like, power tool i've seen you know? in about a week is my director <laughs> oh by the way uh ed uh, ed are you able to put uh, nancy's uh, info on the or, or did you even give them any info we did. Oh, yeah i okay. gave them a little bit I want, in case people want to see your yeah. your yeah, that, that'll um, be future collectible stuff. You know, as time goes on, I mean, I could be rocking and rolling and playing my little ukulele or whatever for time. I just joined a band as a drummer, so I'm not oh, I'm not boy. stopping anytime soon. But well, uh, but the visual uh, arts are kind of calling me at this point, so we'll see what happens. Beautiful. Well, you know, continue it, and if I feel I have anything, I'll bring it down and plop it in front of your house. There we go. Nancy, you wouldn't be the first person to do that. So. Thanks so much for coming. I, you're, Thank you, you're, Bruce. You're very easy to talk with. And, <laughs> Thanks for sharing Thank your, you. your, 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 your life as it is right now. All right. Ah. Mm. Beautiful. Are you, are you folks doing all right? I sure hope so. Oh, I promise you there will never be any sort of you know, commercial uh, interruption uh, here. We're just putting out, what, you know, just sort of the light of life, you know, if you're into that. If you need to be inundated with, uh, you know, uh, words of uh, somebody selling you something well you can get that another time I hope you you, you know you can stay and sort of l get to learn because you kind of have to it's like a drug you listen to that crap all the time you have to learn how to watch this type of sort of programming we're about ready to make our little right turn wow I'm excited that they're here a review a blues review man they're on our stage right now I could talk a long time about blues review. Well, let's let's get, get into a little bit of hearing about what they're all about. The Rich Felix Blues Review is on our stage right now. Put your hands together for them, please. Yeah, do 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 do. Come here, sisters. Pop is in a string.
tell you what it's all about. I got soul. And I'm super bad. feelings for you it brings back memories to me because I sort of grew up that way and uh, I did that whole scene boy I remember when I was in junior high I, I, my friend of mine was named Ron Potter and his mother owned a, a styling salon there down in Redwood City on Broadway and uh, they actually lived in the back of that place and Ronnie was a you know hair slick back big old pompadour thing and, and uh, the fine black slacks and shirt and the fine shoes with taps on them, 
and he was a dancer. And we go down to the Peppermint Sticker, Peppermint Lounge down around Broadway, and here's uh, some of these, you know, so, so some of the groups that were traveling throughout America would stop at this joint and then kind of do their, you know, thing. And I'm just, oh, what a really, really fine sort of music, fine time. Huh. Yeah, nice selection of songs, huh? Papa's got a brand new bag. I'll be there. Cold sweat. Jeez, it's good. Huh, beautiful stuff. Rich is the, the guitar player, and he was doing a little singing as well, just sitting sitting next to me. We'll do some talking. Welcome, and thanks so much for being here, brother. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Oh. Oh. How's some of this, man? All right. Oh, man. God. Uh, how, lucky, how lucky did you, you get when you got together with these fellas? Yeah, pretty good, eh? Uh, I'm telling you, Larry, he, geez, he just got off the boat. He's been on a <laughs> cruise or something. Yeah, he was on that, the Caribbean uh, 70,000 pounds of metal or something. 70,000 tons of metal uh, and lots of poop, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we so much. Everybody stays healthy from the alcohol. I got you, brother. <laughs> wow, Larry Howe, we used to play with the Vicious Rumors. Yeah, and then Frank, huh, Thibault? Thibault. Frank Thibault from the yeah. John Lee Hooker Jr. band. John Lee Hooker, band. and what was it, the other night he played with uh, Kenny. Kenny Ken Neal. Kenny Neal, yeah. I, I was invited, so I was really happy about that. Marvin uh, actually is, sings with the Drifters. and God's Son of Soul. Uh, huh? God's Son of Soul. Oh, yeah, a fine young singer, huh? Yeah, he's great. All of you. You put yourself together, and you got, you got a nice little feel. Yeah. You've been playing blues all your life, huh? <laughs> Yeah. Did you drink any of that yet? Yeah, I did. It's pretty tart. You'll start coming on about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you played down at the San Benito House here in, uh, uh, on the coast uh, of uh, California. And that's been there quite a while, huh? You yeah, like I've been really, you know, having a good time. I've been uh, two years. I've been doing solo from 11 to 3 on Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah. 11 to 3. Yeah. That's and, a nice uh, little place. Right in the time. garden, the deli garden. Yeah. I just can't get that place out of my mind. It's, yeah. it's a stucco. It's the right? oldest bar in yeah. Happening that's not the one with the ghost in it, though, right? No, that's the down the street. One. Yeah, yeah. That's Cunha or something. Cunha. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, I tell you, we've well, got that nice gig. You play with these folks. Yeah, you life's did. good. Well, I'm telling you, when I, you know, it was actually you're the fella that sort of thought it might be wise to have Nancy. I asked Nancy. Yeah, you call yeah Nancy. we talked to Nancy. We were, uh, what know. a sweet thing, man. Yeah. You know, because you... I didn't of, know she calls you, actually. I just found out a couple of days she, ago. Yeah, well, I thought, what a great idea. Do you know, because you, you, you guys go way back. You and I, we only go back, what, 10, 15 years. Well, yeah. I think I might have done, like, your fifth show, if I remember right. The sound went out. There was no sound. Remember? That was last show. That was... <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, Tom. <laughs> Well, there, oh boy, there were some heady days. Boy, gosh. Yeah, I had to work I, it, yeah. I, you know, I look, like you, you know, I look back on all the things. that There, there were some really, really ridiculous things. But, you, you know, when you, you know, you, it's more than just a notion to do what you desire. And, you know, you know that as a musician. You do it because you enjoy it, and uh, that's it, you know. Oh, by the way, I want to say hi to Pell of the Pelicans. He's in our studio this evening. My buddy Pell. Uh, yeah, nice yeah. kid, huh? My uh, producer. Yeah. And then, uh, so, uh, so you guys are, uh, what's the deal? Are you going to, like, think about a CD or something? Yeah, well, we're working on some stuff. You know, we're, you know we're just, everybody's got their own little projects, so this is like, we're, trying, we're feeling our way through the, you know. Yeah, going through the yeah, stuff. Yeah. And that's what it is. A lot we, of, we've been know. getting a lot of jobs. We played, uh, just the other night, we played Sheba Lounge, San Francisco, on uh, all right. Fillmore, and we play the number one Broadway, and uh, we play JJ's, and you know, few, you know, all the little spots. Hey, is know. Eli's Mile uh, Mile High House still around? You know, remember that? That's a good question. I wish I had to ask for you. Though. God, I used to have some of them old timers on, man. From from that played up there. There's great stories. Huh. Eli's Mile High House. Yeah. I see you still got your little turtle there. The turtle's doing that well. A, that's a different one. It's, it's more green. I have uh, I have three or four. I have a <laughs> sir, special representative that goes out and gets those turtles, and uh, I keep them. Uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, when one goes down, uh -huh. sometimes they get shell fatigue. You know. 
Yeah, you were a vet. Pretty hard to replace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we got Santa. They might not make him. Remember anymore. Santa? He, he put he put a candy, in, <laughs> huh? and then he just what's his pencil poops. sharpener? <laughs> no, he poops his candy out. Yeah, it's cute as ever. Yeah, I, I've always you know I I I'll, I'll, that stick I. <laughs> That stick I learned from Jasbo Collins, man. Remember Al Jasbo oh, Collins? Oh, yeah, I love that guy. That cat was something else, dude. Hey, uh, you're going to come in, you're going to uh, do another little performance for yeah, us? Yeah, another, what, 12 minutes or so? Yeah, man. Hey, Rich, thanks so much for, you know, right coming here. Thanks for taking care of your mama. Dude. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Big time. All right, we'll let Rich, we'll let, uh, we'll let Rich get, uh, get hooked up. Yeah, I put the goo on my hair tonight just to see because my hair is too long and I didn't get a haircut. And it makes me a kind of slicky looking, but it's all right. <coughs> it's all right. Don't hurt. Hmm. I hope your kids are doing doing you know pretty good in 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 your lives. We're hanging in there in hours and you know trying to make the best of it. Uh, big a big shout out to my son Miles, my brother Richard. They're both they're both very ill. And Beth's lady, uh, Roger's lady, Beth. And then all you other people out there, they got some kind of thing happening. It ain't, it ain't, it, 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 you know, it's not just you. It's, uh, we all share that stuff. Hmm. All right, are we, are we good? Sound like, are you burping, Rich, or is that your guitar? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so you know we're doing really well. Can you believe we're already into? Uh, we're gonna, we're nearing the end of February. Uh, huh? I can't believe it. Fe February is like gone. I don't know. I, don't, I can't really, really, uh, you know, expand on it. It seems to happen every year as uh, as we get a little bit older, and that's uh, eh, okay. You know, just what it is. Just if you can just lead a good quality uh, uh, type of life, even though you're you know a workaholic and you have to do all this, just put the food on the table. Uh, Rich, are we ready to go, big guy? Hey, I'm, I'm well. You damn right, I'm ready for a second helping. Yeah, Rich Felix. Yeah, and the Blues Review. They're they're on the stage again, ready ready to give a little bit. Put your hands together for them. Right. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're talking about it right now.
much rich felix in the blues review <laughs> the boy's good i want to do my thing what you say i want to get into it what man you talking about? like yeah. a sex machine like a what? Yeah. moving yeah grooving can i count it out can i count it out yeah. one two three four get up get on up get up Wait a minute! 
I should thank some of the people in our studio who've been dan dancing with the music uh, this evening. We've got a great group of folks that uh, just sort of do that and like to do it. We're so pleased that you, you, you stuck with the show and you've enjoyed this kind of a program. That's what we're all about here. Get out that, get out that comfort, get out that music, and just uh, do it, huh? Hope we did it well enough. I certainly feel like we have. Hey, let's we'll get a one last shot of the folks. They're on our stage right now. There's a lot of people that want to get autographs, and, and uh, a lot of dancers are per, still dancing out in the other hall there. And our, our director, evidently, has uh, come to find out he lost, lost his marbles and a TD had to take over. Yeah, Nancy Hall, thank you so much for being here. We'll get a shot, shot of her there. Oh, she's up on stage. Thanks so much for, for, for giving us your, your wonderful singing, your uke playing, your words. It's just very comfortable, very comfortable stuff. Rich, Marvin, Frank, Larry, Larry Howe, Frank, Thibault, Marvin Banks. Thank you kids for uh, sort of doing it and hanging, giving, giving us what you, you have. And we, we certainly, certainly. You know, I, I thought we might go out with uh, a little bit of Ron, little Ronnie Thompson. Ron is not well. And I'm feeling pretty not very good about that. Ron Thompson, off of his uh, uh, still resisting CD. Yeah, I don't know. You know, sometimes some of the brothers and the sisters just have this. You know, I don't know why. Have to go down a you know a road of, of uh, difficulty, and it just kind of keeps happening. Poor old Ron, somebody knocked him and took his goddamn car away from him and ripped him off of that. And then, then he's got a sort of physical sort of a deal going now. So we'll go out with a little bit of Honest I Do, a Jimmy Reed piece. All of you take care of yourselves. Think good thoughts. Put, keep, keep yourself strong if you can and pass it on. Thank you. 